Hey guys, welcome back to another High Kappa video. I'm super excited to, to be filming this one. Things are a little bit uppity at home at the moment, so I am struggling with a bit of consistency, but I am trying to keep these videos weekly and of a reasonable content for you. So um, this is my new 5.1 build. As you can see, I've done absolutely nothing to it yet. I've got a little bag of parts, which is building up. But this week, uh, this isn't the actual focus of this video. Um, that's going to go there. What the focus is of this video is going to be in this bag right here. So this is a care package which I've only received today and this has been sent over to me by the amazing guys over at AirTac. Um, AirTac are where you can buy all of the 3D printed Make It 3D slides now. They come either branded Make It 3D, branded as AirTac, you can have them customised, you can put different stuff in them, everything you want. There's a load of guys over there and they are absolutely amazing, they do everything you need. This is a care package sent over by these guys. Uh, they are also working with Frog Airsoft. And this little care package... Uh, it's shi- oh my god, it's shining, it's shining. So in this care package we have the Froggos. So these are short stroke buffers. So anybody who's kind of really looked into high cappers and kind of, you know, budget or easy high capper mods, short stroking is one of the things which is highly recommended so when you short stroke what i'll do is i'll just drop the mag out of here so normally when you have a pistol and you you pull that trigger the slide travels all the way back to there so you get a lot of a lot on display there let it go click so what a short stroke buffer does is it sits on your guide rod just here at the back of it and it makes that travel distance that little bit lower. So rather than the slide going all the way back there, it'll kind of top out about there. And then in theory, you get a faster recoil out of that as well. A slight side effect of that as well. You have your, your spring. And when you put the short strip buffers in, your spring is a little bit more compressed. So the spring has less room to work in. So you actually get a slightly better effect off your spring as well. I mean, we're talking a couple of percent single figures uh of kind of in not increase it's it's kind of preloaded so you, you reap the benefit of that the spring will never actually straighten all the way out but um you get kind of you know small small amounts so if, if that's your kind of thing you like those figures great so uh, i'm going to put my new 5.1 to one side because we, we're not actually going to use that today so what we are going to use today is it's oh, is, is a bag of these lovely things so uh let's crack them open so this is the first bag i've pulled at random I have tried to read up on these a little bit first. So, bag of froggos. At the moment, these are available from airtac.me. The website link is going to be just down there. Please do go over there. They've got so many high cap parts for sale right now, ready to go. So, none of this waiting for it to come in, pre-ordering. It's there, it's ready to go. They're all 3D printed, they're all lightweight. You will get an insanely snappy pistol without spending thousands of pounds. So, Obviously, stickers. We play airsoft because we love stickers. And let's just get you that sticker. Yeah, look at that frog airsoft, baby. I've been meaning to get my hands on a set of these for a while. So this is amazing. I love the baggie in these as well. The, the kind of the, the multicolor rainbow bag. I save all these packets and I put all my spare parts in these packets. These are going to be insane for my spare parts. So, ta-da! Look at them. I love the bag. How sad am I? I love the bag. So we get we, we get four different colours. Uh, we've got blues, we've got purples, we've got pinks, whoop, and we've got green, which I'm going to lay out for you. And we get two washers as well. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to speak very quickly and make it not seem like I've just lit my phone up over there so I can tell you what these are. So we have Pond Blue, these are super soft. We have two of those. We have Frog Purple, which are the standard soft. We have Poison Pink, which are hard. And we have Lily Pad Green, which are the super hards. So you get a really good variety of, of strengths in there and you get two washers. Now these aren't just washers either. These are quite tightly, um, quite tightly made. The inside diameter of these is a tiny, tiny little bit thinner. So you, it, it won't kind of like flop about on your guide rod as much, it'll sit nice. And what you also get then is when you have your washer on your guide rod, sometimes the end of your spring can kind of dig its way in and then it'll lock up in and it can actually work its way through your, your buffers. 
um, kind of like if you imagine your buffers are like that, it, it will kind of dig its way through and then it will bind everything together and you lose a bit of recoil there. So this is tighter to stop that spring, just the spring will sit against it and away you go. So absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to install some to this and we're going to do a bit of a comparison. So uh, this is this is the pistol I've built onto my guard of frame. So I've not actually had a chance to use this yet. I was meant to use it last week, but um, like I say, we're having some house renovations done. The electrician was meant to turn up at a time, didn't turn up, and only we found out two hours later that he wasn't turning up. So uh, massive apologies. Um, Hell's Airsoft, actually. I was meant to play there, but didn't. Uh, I was hoping to get some footage there, but never mind. I'll make it up to Rob at some point. So uh, here we go. This is the new Edge Inch Perfect spring as well. Um, the stock TM one, which came out before this was in, did manage to bind on these. So these are the cow cow buffers, and these are the, the, the yellow ones, which are kind of the softest ones that they do. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a couple of things. So I'm going to compare softness. So I would say they are about even. Maybe the blues are just a tiny bit tougher. Yeah, I'd probably say the blues are that smidgen tougher than what they are, but that's fine because I kind of think that the yellows are just a little bit too squidgy anyway. But running a plastic slide, you kind of want that. So I'm going to stick those to one side and I'm going to load up two blues. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up to, uh, do I go pinks? Perps. Yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go pinks and perps. Uh, and then, oh my God, move those out of the way. So what we're going to do, uh, as we're going to do this, is we're going to, we're going to do some measuring as well. So let's turn my vernier on. So the actual, so these buffers are 3.4 mil each. And cow cow ones are... Oh, 3.2 mil each. So I'm going to get a slightly be slightly thicker uh, buffer out of these as well. So that's quite nice. Let's just measure the purples. 3.5. 3.5. Interesting. Pinks are 3.4. And the greens are 3.4. So the purples are just that tiny little bit thicker, which... It's kind of cool. So we'll have a look at the, the washers. So these are the, the cow cow washers as well. The cow cow washers are 1.4 mil in height. And the froggo ones are 1 mil. Okay, so the washers are 0.4 mil thinner. And the buffers are 0.2. Is it 0.2 mil? So actually, we're going to uh, we're going to end up the same so where these are a bit thicker they're a bit thinner it'll balance out but the bit i am in, interested in is the inside diameter of these bad boys so let's have a look inside diameter there is 8.4 millimeters and i'm going to test the other one because i did mix these in with some aip ones at one point 8.4 nice and the frog ones oh yeah eight mil on the nose so that's uh that gives me a bit of confidence there i quite like that i quite like i've, I've kind of looked at these washers recently and actually found myself wondering about you know how how can i get that extra kind of like you know point something percent improvements of, of things and the tightness of those is something which came to my mind once upon a time so i'm going to load these up yep they fit on absolutely fine uh and what we're going to do is we're going to put a nice pretty pattern on and Oh, that's interesting. Let's just grab that back. Uh, inside diameter of the blues is 8.2. Inside diameter of the perps is 8. Inside diameter of the cow cows, 8.6. So they are, they are slightly tighter than the cow cows as well, which... Do you know what? I I don't mind that one bit. So, uh, yeah, we'll go purple, blue, purple, blue. Bosh. Yeah, that's quite cool. And then we'll stick the other frogo on the back. 
that way up, that way up, put a clean line up. Oh yeah, and I don't know how well you can see that there, but it is it is nice and tight around that. So we'll load the spring back up straight away. And yeah, that's not binding on any. That's just got no hope of binding ever. So we'll wrap that back together. What I should have done was I should have measured the whole thing. Let's do that before I put it back together because it's only going to bug me that I didn't measure it on cam for you guys. And then I'll only end up like dropping an Instagram post in like three days going, oh, I should have done this for you. Uh, so let's do that now. Click. So overall, uh, I'm short stroking the 15.9 millimeters. So let's grab all of those and those and those. Get them together. 15.9 millimeters. So as long as you use As long as you use four buffers, then it kind of equates to what the cow cow stuff is, which is fine because I quite like the travel that the cow cow gives. So let's put those back together. It also means that my maths is correct, which I don't know if anyone heard me try and roughly add it up. It means I was right about that. Uh, my math teacher is going to actually be quite proud if, if he's watching, which he's not going to be. Cool, so that's back together. I would say that looks pretty cool on there as well. A bit better than just manky yellow, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll stick you back together like the super, super beast mode you are. Oh. I love this. I love this pistol so much. It's just so light. So whilst we're at it, shall we shall we do another one as well? Let's do another one. So here's the uh, here's the lesser seen battle cat these days. Um, don't know why it's lesser seen. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, just never never makes it out of the box. When see th my battle cat build, it probably stands me probably around about six seven hundred ish, and I love it. It looks amazing. It handles well. That overall wouldn't stand you anywhere near 700 quid. The, the parts along the top are just so much cheaper. And this thing is, is better. It fires better. I just prefer it. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pop that out. This is a proper TM pin in a proper TM frame. So obviously everything is tight. So what we have in here is we have the medium, effectively what is kind of the the next one up from the mediums and and the nearly hard so kind of these so i'm going to put these into here and then that's the cow cow ones pretty much fully relieved of duty I'm so excited i've been trying to get froggos for so long and uh well now i've got them honestly i've been trying to get them so long i've seen them about i've wanted to try them i just haven't got round to it's really approaching the conversation about trying to get my hands on any. So uh, we'll do the same thing again. We'll measure these up. Zero that off. Oop. Zero that. Yep. And clamp it together. 15.9. 15.8? 15 15.9. Because I was squeezing it too hard. Pop that there. Just make sure that's all in one piece. So these are kind of the medium super hards. I kind of do like a little bit of dunky dunk. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to move the greens off and I'm going to crack another pack open. Uh, I'm going to have to crack another two packs for my other 5.1 and possibly the gold match. I'm glad we've got a lot. Stick that there. I want a couple of purples because why wouldn't you use purples on a purple build? God damn it. And then the rest of these can go back into here. Yeah, boy. I am absolutely just... I love these things so much already. It's, I'm such a nerd, I really am. Put those to one side. Over there. Right, so same thing again. We'll put you on there. Zip. And I think we'll lead with pink. 
Oh, yeah, noticeable. You can see on this where the spring's been binding around my guide rod. So hopefully these are going to stop that. These are such a good tight fit as well. It's so nice to have quality products. It really is. These things are just nice. And let's just shift them down there. They actually suit and look so much better as well, don't they? Right, let's have a look. 15.8. 15.9. Yeah. Nice. I like four buffers on, on my four threes. Just just works nice. Also, it's a metal slide as well. So we run a 120. Spring, this spring, it's not never felt it bind, but I used to run AIPs for everything. Oh, there we go, look at that. And doesn't that look so much better as well? Guys, are really spoiled me, man. Pop you back together. I should really give this thing some game time. I should really give myself some game time at some point. The only bloody thing with this one is it comes apart as you put it back in. And it's an absolute knobhead to get back together. It refuses to go in sometimes. Let's try doing it on camera before I proper lose my shit. And give up and throw it far away as I can. Yeah, lost my shit with it. Why you do this? Yeah, it's just jumping out there. There we go. Right. Stay there. Dip shit. I don't know why it's doing it. Come on. People are watching and waiting. Ah, oh, there we go. Possibly. No. There we go. No. You know what? I'll sort that off camera. Let's concentrate on the real cool stuff. Bog air soft. Short strokes. So, overall thoughts. Uh, absolutely. I rate these things already better than the cow cow stuff. These are the cow cow super softs. They're just shaggy. They're falling apart. They are, um, <laughs> starting to get bored out. You can see there, they're getting ripped apart. Um, reds, blues, the reds are actually probably about what the blues are for these. I'd probably say, um, buy them from air tack. Absolutely fantastic. Um, in comparison, uh the only other brand i would probably say that are a big brand are the waldo rubbers they are shit uh they are just soft silicon crap they, they flob all, around, all over the place it's like putting jelly in your gun so don't don't go for those go for the frog airsoft ones whilst you're on airtax website have a look at some of the other products that they've got and uh bag yourself a bargain build yourself a super super fast high capper i'm gonna go and see if i can beat the shit out of this I just love my uh, I love my lightweight 4.3. Can't wait to use it. Thank you very much if you've followed me this far. Again, another huge shout out to Make It 3D, to AirTac, and to, to Frog Airsoft. Um, hopefully, I'll be out on the fields doing some pretty decent gameplay for you guys soon. And uh, hopefully, we're going to get a new build on the go in the not too distant future as well. Thank you very much. I will catch you probably in the next one. Obviously, as soon as I turn the camera off. I'll rack this bastard together and it went straight in. Battle Cat Crew, man.